Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In this video, I'll be giving you a few Shopify website tips for how to design a one product store to promote your product. I'll be showing you how to add different product settings, how to add a section to help out the design of your sales page, and I'll be covering your footer menu customization. Whether you're dropshipping or selling one specific product, you can follow the tips in this video. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. A section that you can choose to add to your one product Shopify store, this section can help to display a few of your top reviews of your product. I'll be showing you how to add a customer reviews section so that you can feature a few reviews, either at the top or midway through your sales page website. To get started, you're going to want to open Shopify, then click online store, then themes. Next, you're going to go in to customize your currently published theme. When you click this full screen icon, you'll be able to view an example of your website in full screen. And when you click this mobile icon, this is where you can view an example of how the website can look on a mobile device. I'll be showing you a quick and simple way to display a few of your top reviews here on your one product website. In between sections on my website, I'm going to click add a section and here I'll be inserting a multi column. This will be the section that I'll be using to feature a few top reviews. Under heading is where you can choose to retitle this section. Under number of columns on desktop, you can choose to increase the number of columns that you would like to show at a time. I'm going to set the column alignment to center. You can choose to retitle the button label. I'm going to title this order now and I'm going to link the button label to the featured product. Under color scheme is where you can choose to apply a different color scheme to this section. When you click on a column, here under description is where you can paste in your customer's review. Then under heading, I'll be adding a few of the star emojis to match the star rating. I'll be adding an example review, and you can also list your reviewer's name, and you can choose to put that text in bold, italic, and you can also increase the size of the text. That is a quick and simple way that you can choose to feature a few of your top reviews on your one product website. By the way, if you are interested in this website I'm showing, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of Shopify theme templates designed for many types of businesses. These will help to give your business that professional look and layout without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. If you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, after your order, you're going to receive the theme in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to publish it and edit it to fit your business. I have Shopify themes for skincare and beauty businesses, and I also have some for clothing and dropshipping businesses. There is a step-by-step -step installation guide included to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. And most of my themes are template bundles that also include logo templates, brand kit templates, and more. I will link this Shopify theme template in the description box below, along with where you can go shop my other Shopify themes. For the second tip, I'll be showing you a setting option that you can add to your products to help list your different size or color options for your product. I'll be showing you a quick way that you can add variants to your product. Here on Shopify, I'm going to click products. Then you can go in to open the product on your store. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page. Then here under variants, I'm going to click this plus icon. I'll be titling the option name. Once you've added your different variants, down here is where you can set the exact pricing and inventory that you have available for each variant of the item. Then over here is where you can choose to set your variant cover images to represent each of the product variants. Yeah. 
Then I'm going to click save. And also when you click add another option, here you can add a whole other variant option. So if your product is available in different sizes and colors, you can also add a selection for sizing. Then I'm opening my website. And here's an example of how this product section appears. Also, when you click these three dots, then click Preview. That's how you'll be able to view your website in full screen. For the next tip, I'll be covering your website's footer menu customization, and I'll be showing you in detail how to set up a new footer menu on your website, and how to link it to your footer bar, as well as how to add your logo, and even a mini brand description, to the footer bar of your website. On Shopify, I'm gonna click Navigation. And this is where you can open your main menu or your footer menu of your website. And you can also choose to add a new menu to your store. I'm gonna title this new menu. Then I'm gonna click Add Menu Item. And this is where you can begin adding links to different pages in your store. I'll first be adding a link to the home page of the website. Then you can choose to add links to your store's search bar, your product collections, and you can also add a link to the product that's on your store. Next, you can choose to add links to other pages within your store, and you can even add links to your store's blog. I'll be adding a link to the store's contact page. And then you can add links to your store's policy pages. And that is a quick and simple way that I did the new footer menu. Also, if in general you're not too familiar with the use of Shopify, I do have an in-depth Shopify basics guide that has a wide range of sections teaching how to use Shopify, how to set up Shopify payments, how to read your analytics page, launching products, and also how to launch your store. In this guide, I've included video tutorials, written text explainers, and screenshots to help you navigate Shopify and understand each section of the guide, and I will link that in my description box below. Then I'm going to scroll to the bottom of my website. And I'm going to click on this footer bar. Right here under footer, I'm going to click add block. And here I'll be adding a menu block. When you click on this menu, under menu is where you can assign a new menu to this block. You can also choose to retitle or remove the heading. Then I'm going to click this plus icon, and here I'll be inserting an image block. Here under image, when you click select image, you'll be able to upload your logo to the footer. Under image width, you can choose to increase the size of your logo display. Here I'll be inserting a text block. You can choose to retitle the heading, and you can also choose to put the heading in bold, italic, and you can insert a link leading to another page within your store. Under subtext, I've put a mini example description text for this example brand, and you'll have a few different options for this text. You can choose to increase the size of the text, and you can put it in bold, italic, you can insert a link to another page within your store, and you can also create bullet lists or numbered lists to list off multiple details about your brand or your product. Also, when you click on this footer bar, you'll have a few different editing options for your footer bar as well. You can choose to display your email signup and also a few other settings for your footer bar. And here's an example of how the footer bar appears on mobile. 
I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're going to receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the section and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo template, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.